Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Gethro from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm comparing the sweet potato versus the white potato and answering the question, are white potatoes good for you? Because guys, let's be real. It's no secret that most white carbohydrates like white bread and white pasta are not the healthiest options for you. And here on Live Lean TV, I share a lot of recipes with sweet potatoes but what about white potatoes? Are all white carbohydrates, including potatoes, bad for weight loss? Well, you've probably heard the saying, white is dead. So yes, your plate should look like a rainbow, but that doesn't mean all white foods should be avoided. So white refined foods like bread and pasta should be limited, but certain white whole foods can be healthy and full of nutrients. So these healthy white carbohydrates include mushrooms, onions, garlic, and cauliflower. Now, these white carbohydrates are full of phytonutrients, vitamins, and trace minerals. Now, this leads me to the comparison of sweet potato versus white potato. So first, let's compare 100 grams of sweet potato versus white potato based on calories and macronutrients. So sweet potato calories and macros for 100 grams, calories, 90. Protein, two grams, and carbohydrates, 21 grams, and fiber, three grams, fat 0.1 grams. Now compare this to white potatoes, you have calories at 92 calories, protein 2.3 grams, and carbohydrates 21 grams, and fiber 2.2 grams, and fat 0.1 grams. So from a calorie and a macronutrient standpoint, when you compare sweet potato versus white potato, they are very similar, although sweet potatoes do contain just a little bit more fiber. Now let's compare sweet potato versus white potato based on the micronutrients, so the vitamins and the minerals. So the biggest differences are sweet potatoes dominate when it comes to vitamin A and beta carotene and they also contain more vitamin C. But white potatoes contain more folate and potassium. So lastly, let's compare sweet potato versus white potato on the glycemic index and glycemic load. So the real issue with potatoes occurs with how the potato is prepared and cooked as this affects the potato's glycemic index and the glycemic load. So if you haven't heard about the glycemic index, the glycemic index and the glycemic load refers to how certain foods affect blood sugar and insulin production in your body. So the lower the glycemic index and the glycemic load, the less effect it has on blood sugar and insulin. Now, this is important since when your blood sugar is on that roller coaster of sugar highs and sugar lows, it can cause you to eat more calories. Therefore, foods with lower glycemic index and glycemic load may make you feel fuller longer so you end up eating less calories. So boiling or steaming a potato will affect its glycemic index differently than if it's baked or fried. So even though white potatoes have a higher glycemic index and a glycemic load, the cooking method can significantly increase the glycemic index and the glycemic load of sweet potatoes as well. Although a boiled sweet potato has a low glycemic index and a medium glycemic load, when you bake it for a long period of time, the glycemic index and the glycemic load becomes very high. And also, since a lot of the micronutrients and the fiber are found in the potato skin, eating with the skin on can help slow the insulin and the blood sugar rise. So other factors can also help control blood sugar and insulin levels and reduce the negative effects of some high glycemic foods such as food combining. Now I did a whole video about the glycemic index and the glycemic load of foods. You can check it out right here. So guys, here are the healthiest ways to prepare your potatoes. If weight loss is your goal, the best way to cook potatoes is by boiling or steaming them. However, if you're eating your potatoes in your post-workout meal, baking them can actually help as this is when it may be more beneficial to eat foods that are higher glycemic. But just don't deep fat fry your potatoes as deep fat fried french fry is no longer a potato. So here's the bottom line on sweet potato versus white potato. Both the sweet potato and the white potato are very comparable from a calorie and a macronutrient standpoint. However, the only real difference is the micronutrient makeup. The few things that stand out for the sweet potato is it's higher in vitamin A and vitamin C and fiber. And sweet potatoes also have a lower glycemic index and glycemic load. However, this is obviously affected by how you prepare the sweet potatoes. So in a lot of ways, it comes down to personal preference. Do you like white potatoes or do you like the taste of sweet potatoes? I personally prefer the taste of sweet potatoes more. That's why we use it in more of our cooking recipes. So that's it guys. Hopefully enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you click the like button below and click subscribe and turn the bell notifications on so you never miss an episode and you're always in the loop when we post a new episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep living lean.